How you guys doing? This is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I got my first set of power blocks yesterday. I made the video, I mean I made the um, stand a few days prior. I'm pretty happy with the stand. Um, I got the idea from another guy named Fred Kenny on YouTube. He actually made a wooden stand. Everything's completely made out of wood. Um, I had been looking. I was actually going to make one just like his. But I decided to, um, I ran across a stand at Harbor Freight. Here's the stand. It has a thousand pound capacity. Um, there's the specs on it if you can see it. Made by U.S. General. Um, as you can see, the stand comes with um, three-quarter inch wood, which I converted over. Um, I actually just cut it down. Um, I cut the stand. Actually, I didn't put the whole stand together. The front part. Of these are extensions that you have to put on the stand. I just did not put the extensions on the front of the stand which gave me my tilt. I took this top board, I actually turned it and I trimmed the top off when I turned it. Um, actually when you, and they give you all the pieces that you need to make this stand. Um, in the description I got a little description of how to actually cut the wood and cut the holes and stuff. But like I said, as you can see you got a spot for your adder weights these holes do go through the 2x4 and actually go all the way through the 3 quarter inch wood and I have a, a strip of wood at the bottom the reason I did that it, give, it allows you to a deeper hole to put your adder weights I'm going to flip the stand over now so you can see the bottom how I assembled it before I do that hold on you can see the extension that I left on the back side This is just the front of the stand here. Um, oh yeah, um, I use steel iron, angle iron, and on the front side of the three-quarter inch plywood or um, press board comes with it. I counter counter sunk about an inch and a half back with my router. That way. When I laid the angle iron in here, I had a smooth surface for the um, grip paper to, to um, lay on, which turned out pretty nice. Um, you can see it gives you a smooth transition in the front. Um, I just used spray, regular spray paint to spray this too. But let me, um, hold on a second, let me um, flip this over, take the weights off at least. Okay, here you can see in the front, I used actually two pieces of angle iron. This is the first piece, as I said before, has a um, channel up there so it'll lay flat on the top. This is the bottom piece, which is angled opposite direction from the top piece. And in the description, I have all the measurements where you need to cut this stuff. Um, but once you cut it down, it go in between the um, stand, which will give you support, stop it from sliding forward. Same thing in the back. In the back, it actually goes on the outside of the stand. I just use some little short screws, some nuts and nuts and um, bolts, just to uh, screw that together. Here's a strip of wood that I was talking about that was left over from the scrap piece of um, wood after I cut it down to the correct measurement for the top of the stand. Um, that's glued on plus it's screwed on. Um, actually the 2x4 on the top, before I 
screwed that. I actually glued that down. Actually put a couple screws through the three quarter inch plywood. I keep calling it plywood, but it's press board. Uh, and then after I did that, <clears throat> I put the strip over top of all that and I actually screwed, made sure these screws was long enough to actually go all the way up into the two by four. Just to make sure the um, adder weights didn't start hammering them out. Um, on these bolts that's holding the stand on, I also put nail polish on these, clear nail polish, because um, I just want to snug those up. As you can, if you look close, you can see that if you tighten up too much, it actually starts it'll start bending the stand, which you don't want it to do. So just snug those up, put some um, some type of nail polish on them. I was looking for some Loctite, of course I couldn't find any. I had to use my wife's nail polish. Um, the bolts in the front, nuts and bolts that I put in the front, um, extra go all the way through the top of the. I drilled through the top angle iron all the way through the bottom. I had the countersink. A countersink where the flathead fill-up bolt went through. Um, which kind of gave you, you know, it gives you a smooth transition so you won't have a lump there if you use like a regular nut and bolt. So definitely use a um a Phillips head, flat Phillips head, that way when you countersink it'll be it'll be smooth. Same thing at the back. Um when I put the back piece on. Of course I didn't cut the bolt off. I did cut them off in the front. You can't see those. Let me see. And actually when you add the top on, you want to do the front first. Let me set this back up. You want to get the front in first, lay this down. You will have to trim the back extensions to allow the angle iron to sit flat on the back. Um, what I did, I just laid it down. I took like a pencil and just marked it first, then took some um, tin snips and just snipped it off. Um, the holes for the bolts to go in. I kind of just drilled that after I put them on. Um, I set the front end first, laid the, board, laid the um, top of the stand on there, took the angle iron, slid it in. I had previously drilled these holes. After I slid it in, I marked where I needed to drill the holes. I drilled those from the bottom. And after I drilled them from the bottom, I countersunk the press board so you wouldn't be able to see the screw at the top. Um, let me see. This is just skateboard grip paper. Um, got on YouTube for about five to six bucks. Um, this is a 33 inch piece. If I was to do it over again, I would get a longer piece. Actually it's 33 cutting a two, two sixteen and a half. If I was to go back I would get a longer piece, get it a little longer. That way I would actually wrap it around the back side also. Uh, when I originally started, I was actually going to trim it off here. But I decided not to trim it. I think it looks a lot better that way. Um, power, lock, power block labels. Uh, you can find high quality images online. Those are just cut out, on, printed on regular printer paper, cut out with a scissors and glued on with um, any type of adhesive glue. Uh, once again, I got that idea from um, Fred Kenny. Went on his, he has a very nice stand, by the way. Check his site out. Check his video out. Overall, I think it's a really nice stand. Like I said, it has a very, very high weight capacity of a thousand pounds, which I'll never put on there. You see, it's really. Well, it's strong. It's a little wobbly because there's no weights on it now, but it's very, 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 very nice stand. That's it with the weights back on it. I'll show you how. I'm trying to shake it. It's really, really sturdy.
But if you like it, give me your feedback on it. Let me know what you think about it. Like I said, this is my first video for YouTube. Um, hope you guys, ho hopefully you guys like it. Thanks. How you guys doing? This is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I got my first set of power blocks yesterday. I made the video, I mean I made the um, stand a few days prior. I'm pretty happy with the stand. Um, I got the idea from another guy named Fred Kenny on YouTube. He actually made a wooden stand and everything's completely made out of wood. Um, I had been looking. I was actually going to make one just like he is. But I decided to, um, I ran across this stand at Harbor Freight. Here's the stand. It has a thousand pound capacity. Um, there's the specs on it if you can see it. 